All right, how's it going guys? Tyler down here at Emerald City Guitars with my pick of the day is 2004 Collings D2H. Now, Bill Collings, the man behind Collings Guitars, he passed away this last uh, July, so almost a year ago now, but he was really, really an amazing man, definitely a credit to Luthery. So Bill started building guitars in the early 1970s, literally out of his own apartment on his kitchen table. Uh, now Collings has over 100 employees. Uh, they crank out over 3,000 instruments a year at astonishing quality, especially considering the scale at which they operate. So the quality of these instruments rivals pretty much any small time single builder out there uh, at a really, really reasonable price uh, that's much more accessible for working musicians. So this model, the D2H, is a, a pretty classic uh, square shoulder dreadnought model uh, with obvious nods to the D28 in many cases, but uh, there's some pretty notable differences as well. So a couple things about this guitar that are pretty similar to your run-of-the-mill D28. We got the Sitka spruce top, Indian rosewood back and sides, Honduran mahogany neck. We have a pre-war style X bracing under this top. There are a few features that make this differ uh, pretty notably from the Martin. Uh, the scale length is actually 25.5 inches uh, rather than the standard 25.4 of the Martin long scale. The radius of this fretboard is actually a compound radius from 14 inches down here at the nut to actually 26 inches up here at the body and that's a pretty flat radius for an acoustic guitar. So one of the main differences between this model and let's say your D28 uh, is one that not many people know about. It's actually that this neck joint is not a dovetail. Uh, like the classic dreadnought design. It's actually a bolted mortise and tenon. And when I say bolted for an acoustic guitar neck, a lot of people recoil in disgust. It's not really warranted. So the bolt-on neck design isn't inherently bad. Uh, there's been a couple companies that have done it very poorly, uh, namely Fender in the 1960s with their acoustic line. Very obvious bolt-on neck, very uh, bad guitars, frankly. So bolt-on necks on acoustics get a pretty bad rap compared to the dovetail, but there's really no empirical evidence out there that supports one joint versus the other as far as tunnel transfer goes. Uh, given that both joints are cut and fit properly, there's, uh, there's really not any noticeable difference. Something that's really advantageous about this bolt-on design, though, is that it's much easier to manufacture, and also when the time comes for a neck reset down the road, it's much easier to get apart than in your standard dovetail. Other than that, it's a pretty straightforward dreadnought guitar. We have these Waverly open back tuners that are, of course, amazing. Uh, really comfortable, softened V profile on the neck. Uh, just a fantastic quality guitar at a really reasonable price point. So this guitar is in amazing shape, as you can see. Uh, the top looks almost brand new. It's a little light player on the back, uh, but that's to be expected. Especially considering it was made in 2004, uh, it's 14 years old, which means it's had a little bit of time to kind of open up and uh, find itself tonally, so to speak. So we have this guitar price at $27.95. And right now, this is by far the most amazing guitar in this price range, um, or even anywhere around it. It, uh, it absolutely blew me away. I haven't been able to put it down today. So let's mic it up, and you can see for yourself the amazing tones that we can get out of this. All right, guys, now you've heard it. 2004 Callings D2H down here at Emerald City Guitars. Come down, try it out for yourself. We'll see you next time.